Shay needs a chair. Did you say we could beer? Yeah, there's beer in the fridge. So I stabbed myself in the hand with a big fucking knife today. Oh. <laughs> Where's Shay sitting? Is the comments are turned off? No, they shouldn't be. It looks like they are. Oh no. There's more racism in comments than there is anywhere else on the planet. Comments are on. I just want to pay attention. I care about the people. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. Jolly Ranchers and beer. Fire. <laughs> and fire. Oh. <laughs> Is everybody prepared for an hour of antics and bullshit? I don't think I am. They're just going to refrain from shit talking the whole time. And Try and talk about what's going on. Can everybody hear me? Should I lean this in? I have that rooster hair on the camera, bro. Then you should uh, Kurt Cobain the microphone. Stab my hand. Everybody can witness the giant hole in my hand that I put in with my big fuck off knife. <laughs> <laughs> It's seriously delayed to look at. Oh yeah, that's a good shot. It's gotta go all the way. Beautiful. Probably should be getting stitches if I'm gonna be straight up, but whatever. The show must go on. Cauterize it. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Get a knife. Get the same knife. Same knife. Put it in. Oh, perfectly. <laughs> Slip it in there. <laughs> it's a perfect fit. Mm, it's a perfect fit. <laughs> Talk about Greece needs to learn how to solder. So, you know, yeah, oh, soldering iron, beautiful. Oh, God. That yes, reminds me of a good story for the uh, podcast. The it Phoenix tattoo this place where I work, like right in the Wally, Surrey, like Wally, the trap. Like the robot. Like, no, worse than the <laughs> robot. Like Skid Row. Not kid Surrey. friendly. Not kid friendly. This <laughs> chick comes in with this, her hand's been like lacerated open. Like, she grabbed a hold of a knife that someone was trying to stab her with, and it just lacerated her hand open. And, uh... You're dumb, you're supposed to she came in to get stitches, <laughs> and Josh, the guy who taught Claire how to pierce, my really good friend Josh Darby, uh, looked at her, and he's like, you need to go to the hospital. And she just looked at him and looked at me, and she's like, I can't, I have warrants. And he's like, come with me. And just walks her into the back, cleans it all up, stitches it closed. Oh, like, God. welcome to Siri, man, where the tattoo shop can double as a hospital. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Insane. It was insane. That place was insane. Yeah. Big cages on the doors. So, what are we doing? What's everybody talking about? What's everybody saying? Is anybody saying anything? Somebody's going to hit the, the chat. The chat. Okay. We got nothing. nothing. So uh, we got 20 people online. Uh oh. There you go. Um, we're opening tomorrow. And I've got, uh, I don't know if it's going to transfer. What's up, Ollie? What up, Mike? 
Yeah, we're just moving forward. I stabbed myself before the show started. Fucking not kills. Uh, went and had dinner. Three tattoo appointments tomorrow. Three the next day, three the next day. Just crazy. I don't know what everybody else is doing. I was talking to Brendan. He's saying that he's got some openings. So if you want to come pound on the door like tattoo zombies a little bit, that'd be okay. And we will check your temperature. Check your temperature. <laughs> yeah, so our, um, what are the major changes? So, upcoming stuff. Um, where are you at, Shay? You booked up solid or what? No, I'm, uh, I'm booking into July. Whoa, that's further than me. I'm not even, I haven't even gotten nearly that caught up. I'm only on like booking into the 26th of June or something. Three three hour appointments every day. Eleven to two, two to five, five to eight. Bang, bang, boom, every day. So <sighs> Yeah, so I think we're all still just in shock from you were stabbing your hands. <laughs> Go over <laughs> all the huge changes <laughs> and all the don't touch your friends and wash your hands and all that. Yeah, we got signs up on the front door, signs up in the bathroom, signs up by the hand washing stay, sink, social distancing. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say, man. I've been out a few places in Kitimat and it seems to be business as usual. I don't know what everybody's uh, kind of feelings for it are. Like, do you want to see us wearing masks? Do you want to wear a mask? Do you need a mask provided? Are you going to bring one? I just don't know. As far as I know, there's zero cases in the north still. And uh, yeah, it's all very strange to me. I've never had anything take away my employment for such a long time. It's the most amount of time I've had off since I was probably 14 years old. I've had a job of some sort, doing something, making money. Um, yeah, very, very strange. Lots of financial hardship all throughout the community, so don't go uh, beyond your means to get tattooed. Obviously, if you've got other shit to take care of, then feel free to take care of that. We understand. Sell the farm, sell the kids. <laughs> sell the farm, sell the kids. Grand yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah, for me, it's going to be catch up as a boss and an employer and a homeowner and lots of catching up, lots of digging out. Um, yeah, it's good to be back here though. It's nice to get the shop cleaned up, get the back room cleaned out, get some of the equipment working, printer maintenance, sign printed, waiver changed, lots of things. Uh, thermometer, take your temperature, just a whole, you know, things are going to slowly get back to normal. It's uh, lots of catch up. That's what reality is. I think uh, I think that's in all areas of my life: spiritual, financial, physical, emotional, all of it. Man, it's all catch up now. It's like that. I don't think the world has ever had to take a break for weeks and months. Not or, in our lifetime, anyway. Yeah. Not in our lifetime. No, strange. Um, yeah, I just I would never want it to see it become something where it affected people close to me, and that's why I'm willing to try and put the protocols in place. I certainly wouldn't want my mom to get sick or my dad to get sick or my, I don't know, my grandparents left, but even my neighbors or friends or their parents, it would be awful to see people start dying because you were negligent. Imagine the guilt you would have. So I don't want to be part of that. But I love drawing and love tattooing, so I want to do it in a safe manner. I like to think that I've always done it in a safe manner. I think that I teach it in a safe manner. I think we're prepared to go back to work is really what it comes down to. It's kind of safe to sit back. Mm -hmm. You got people lined up? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> Booking appointments tomorrow. Am I in the system yet? Um, no, but we can set you up. I need to see. I need to approve everything that you do because that's to be very supportive. Of course, like, absolutely. Yeah. And I've warned and like everyone. So. What about you? What do you say on what time you starting? Oh, I have my first one at one tomorrow. Um, yeah. Sick. Booked up for the week for sure. I have some left in the gym, but. Your idea of booked and my idea of booked are different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's why I don't have your schedule. 
Yeah. Probably wouldn't like him anymore. He'd probably be over. <laughs> you broke me. <laughs> Jimbo's kicking yeah. ass down in Kelowna. He's working long hours. Still working right now. He said he's killing it. Uh, he's coming up on the 26th. So if anybody's looking to book with Jimbo, he'll be here June 26th. And uh, yeah, he'll be doing. He says he wants to start at noon. So he'll probably start at noon and go late. <coughs> you just make sure that you show up when I'm here. Just kind of tattoo inside those hours. That should be pretty easy. I got another trip coming up for my mom's birthday, June 21st, down in the Okanagan. Um, yeah. <coughs> Malcolm, what's going on with you? Me? Yeah. Nothing. I'm just what's, uh, hey. what's everybody else saying? <laughs> Does anybody ask any questions? Who's paying attention? Anybody paying attention? No fucking mask for me. Word up. Hey. You guys can't wait. Uh, Cody Carlick. What up, bro? Yeah, so that's it, man. Nothing crazy. Craziest thing happened today, stabbed my hand, got all the stuff ordered for my Hummer today, got my dryer fixed and laundry started, which was amazing because I was up on a dryer for four days, it's like, doesn't seem like a long time, but fuck that. You know, you can just hang the wet clothes up and they magically turn dry, right? It just takes a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a hang dryer. Take one. Yeah. Have, you, have you met my dogs yet? <laughs> have you met my so dogs? So many toys. <laughs> yeah. Shower. I just got so a pair of... Put your mic up. Ooh, ooh. Like that. You speak into this part of it. The back side? How close do I have to get? You gotta get, yeah, you're right, you're right. get closer. <laughs> yeah. Touch the tip. You don't have to put your mouth right on it, but... Get closer. It's a... Uh, <laughs> get, get closer while you're talking? It's, it's a, a condenser mic, mic, so or, uh, you should be able to talk at it. Yeah. You want, you, want the video, you want the video camera to hear you too because it's way over there? Yeah, we won't save the video. Well, I also don't want to be like screaming into the mic. That's why it condenses. It condenses it. <laughs> It'll balance it for you. Alright. Sure. scream and then I whisper and then everyone will be like, oh, they're talking normally. <laughs> <laughs> Just have we're a casual conversation. Alright, welcome. Here we are at episode two of, uh, of Bury the Needle. And it's uh, it's been a while. Has it been some, like, since January, December? Yeah. 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 January. Snow. Yeah. Snow on the ground for sure. It's still winter, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not. Go back to I don't want to think of the winter. <laughs> no. We're okay. sitting here with in two more months. Reese. Brendan. Ollie. Shaylin. There you go. All right. So what's new, guys? The world ended for a while. Yeah. Um. You didn't see friends for like three months, so that was fucking weird. <laughs> Is Friends not still on Netflix, Reese? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, that just makes me feel more lonely. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Strange, yeah. strange times, man. Definitely. Yeah. What was everybody been up to? Sleep. Wake up. Don't know what day it is. Sleep some more. You should have well, done something like high risk and just if you would have gone away because that sounds like jail to me. It was jail. It was jail. You could have gotten like, profit out of that. I offered him this le road trip of a lifetime. I was thinking about that when I was down there. I was like, I was like, little buddy could have been with, here with me. <laughs> would have been an epic adventure like Milo and Otis just boogieing around. Wow. Yeah, yeah it was amazing. Yeah. It was, uh, it was trials, man, for sure. I went down to Vancouver, tried to get my Hummer. I was down there for a month. Hummer broke down on the way home. Yeah. I don't know, with Jimbo and Rocco and Kyle. And met an amazing woman. Well, yeah, things are crazy, man. I mean, crazy love. And I think about it all the time. And don't know if we're going to make it work, but we'll try. Sure, we'll do our best to make it work. And for right now, for me, it's just nose to the grindstone, just appointment after appointment. And there's, uh, it's just catch up 100%, man. That's it. I just have to focus on work and drawing and tattooing. It's got to be everything from the time I wake up 
to the time I go to bed at night. And just, I have to give this my all for at least 60 days. That's going to put me back on the right footing I need to be financially, artistically, in the business sense. I just lost a tattoo shop down in Vancouver. So there's, you know, lots of these things don't set in. It's like when you lose a business like that, it's like, uh, it's like losing a part of you or an important person or, you know, you have to grieve, man. It's kind of lame. I don't think I've even processed that information yet. There's been such a shuffle and so much turmoil in the world, and even right now that, you know, me losing a tattoo shop seems insignificant in the greater global scheme of things. I feel like everything that's happened makes me feel like that. Yeah. <laughs> just everything. It just makes you feel so small. Because yeah. you're like, holy fuck, the world's going to burn. And I'm just like in the forest. In the forest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's why you feel like smaller things. <laughs> no. Like those. I like bugs, yeah, that's what Shay's been doing. She's been breeding tarantulas. <laughs> let's talk about that for a minute. Got lots of bugs now. Got 30 tarantulas. Oh, oh, how many spots. species? Wow. Oh, I think 15 maybe. Wow. I don't know. Almost half of the amount. They're like my pears. How many venomous ones? Six or so. They can't actually Aren't kill they you all though. Technically venomous. Like, well, they they're venomous. Any... Every everything's venomous, yeah, but all, the oh, everything. all tarantulas are venomous, but some are worse than others. Some of them some you feel. will have harbor worse results. Some will fuck like your shit up. Next yeah. question: Have you been yeah. bitten by one? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank God. Have you been really one? Have you been one? Have I what? Have, have, have you been the tarantula? Chuck Norris bites tarantulas. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have hair on them? Eradicating hair. Some of them do. What? Eradicating. It's like from the barbecue. Like sticking to your skin. Also, like guaranteed hair sliver. Yeah, guaranteed, but many. <laughs> guaranteed many. hair slivers. Hundreds yeah. of hair slivers. Yeah. <laughs> One hair sliver is bad. Imagine getting a whole bunch of them. Is this mine? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you fry them off. They're delicacies some places, but I like them alive. I've never had tarantula, I don't know. They're cool, they're fun to watch. Like them alive, like to eat a lot? No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. They, I think like a huge percentage of the population of the world yeah. eats bugs in their diet. I think it's pretty odd that I think we're... No, they're a very good staple in many places. Probably, how long does a tarantula live? Uh, depending on their gender and their species. Males can live anywhere from two to six years, I'd say, and females can live anywhere from 15 to 40. I imagine buying like a six-year-old tarantula in the grocery store somewhere would be quite expensive. To eat? Yeah, to eat it. Like, yeah. that'd be more expensive than a one-year-old tarantula. What, what do you pay for them like, from the pet store? In what world are we buying tarantulas? Well, I haven't gotten many from the pet stores, but I've spent a couple grand on my collection already. Bugs yeah. aren't too bad. Corey's probably eating bugs. Is it like lobster? Do you have to crack their little legs out? Oh, <laughs> so no, no. 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 Cat? That was one of the worst images. Yeah. 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 Spend a hundred no. bucks for like half a mouthful of spider guts. Like, <laughs> this one's like a spider rollo. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just, no. It's a crab leg. She just kicks the legs off again. I don't know. There's so much wrong does with it, that. Just, does it solidify like chicken when you cook it? Like does it for a mile? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> getting very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. oh, You've got what, 30? You said you can sacrifice a few. No. You can sacrifice a few spiders. The needs of the many. <laughs> <laughs> Get your own damn tree. They're probably, I wonder how many there are, like. Is that like the person who's selling tarantulas? Is he making good money, or is he yeah, just making? Yeah, from and that's it. <laughs> from where? Not just me. You'd be surprised how many of us there are, Brandon. <laughs> Lots of that Shaylin's the next thing. Lots of spider lovers, man. They're cool. When you actually get one. to experience one, they're pretty cool. I can't experience one because the thought of it coming towards me makes me want to die. <laughs> they oh, scare the me. hell out of me. Those little legs are like. This, uh, yeah. I'm not really scared. I'm not really scared of anything. That's I'm my like sure number like, one. Uh, anything I can show with my bare hands. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know they like, usually run like away from you. Yeah. I've had one run directly at me. They have a fight to pick with me. <laughs> well,
Well, there's I guess, no, I hate yeah. them. Yeah. The like, Marine no Corps is super them. scared of camel spiders, and I seen a video once of these like 220, 240 pound oh. U.S. Marines running away from camel spiders. And I thought to myself that day, it's like these guys are wearing like 12 hole, 14 hole lace up combat boots. Like I would not be intimidated by any bug. I would just step on it. Like that's a I mean, and I were scary. just looking at <laughs> them the other day. I had a spider like maybe like that that scary. looking, but maybe that thing they like ran towards me and I literally like had a panic attack. Killed it with something and then left it there until the morning and then was like, me, somebody's gonna deal with that. Like I literally <laughs> I cannot touch or go near like me going into your tarantula loo- like your tarantula room was max peak for me. Right there. Come on, they were that bad. Oh my god, I was like almost crying. <laughs> they're terrifying. They don't do anything, they're just chilling. I didn't Maybe. feel threatened, but I was like, oh, <laughs> like God forbid the bookshelf crash. Nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Nightmare. Look, what makes you feel better? The biggest one molted and she's even bigger now. Oh, that doesn't make me feel What's any better. Uh, she's only six inches, but I have a species that is supposed to get more like 10 inches. So like dinner plate size. That's what you're going to spend though. Foot, like, what a leash I walk in. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's that should be fragile. Like, it will kill They stretch the little yeah. feet out. Uh, well, I do know that about them. You can measure the molt, um, or if you get them on the side of the tank, you can measure them. And that works way better. What if you they, measure them at their convenience. What if they, you know, stretch out <laughs> weird? Is that not like standing on your tippy toes and uh, saying, oh yeah, I'm six foot That's a good idea, spider yoga. Well, yeah, but I don't know. Just you just drop your spider it off, you stretch it out for you a little bit. Oh, I think you're talking about people doing something. Yeah, I'll stretch it. are actually really fragile, but like, don't do that. I know that much at least. <laughs> They're terrifying, but oh, like also very fragile. They got something to eat at the end of the day. They <laughs> jump for you like... What up? Like, Kyle like, Freshink is watching. Like, like, that's it. He's coming up, so they Kyle's coming up in August. We're not sure when yet. First or second weekend of August, the weekend of August. Uh, he just, yeah, he's an amazing tattoo artist, and uh, I'm stoked to work with him. Yeah. I was getting excited about my job, actually, but that too. Yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> Taylor Cross and his son Chris Cross. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. What else? We got a new tattoo machine. I got a new tattoo machine. Yeah, why don't you show that? High tech Wednesday. This is the Cheyenne Soul Nova. And you turn it up by. Let's turn it down. That's cool. And then. Turn it all the way up. Amazing piece of kit. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So crazy. Like high tech weapons. <laughs> Very cool. Right. So and then this is crazy. the new printer, completely wireless, airdrop, everything, battery powered, Wi Fi. Yeah, it's the same as the other one. It's a little bit more complicated to get it set up and put the paper in it and shit, but for ease of use and convenience, like, fuck, you can't beat that. Road tripping, whatever, man. That's a stencil printer, no cords. Like that's mm-hmm. fucking, uh, yeah, that's a game changer too. They could just figure out how to make it work a little bit differently. How quickly? This print. Same as the other one, just it's uh, like a thermal fax style printer. But uh, yeah, you gotta rip the yellow sheet off the back of that one and flip the image in Photoshop. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit of fucking around with it, but you know, whatever. Things will get better as they go, and I don't know what else is really going on, man. Lots of tattoos coming up. That's all I got. Got a car, yeah. That's all I got. Gosh, the tap will be <laughs> She has got a lot of love taps on her. <laughs> she's got a lot of little like scratches in her paint and stuff, but she's Uh-oh. 16 years old, so. Oh, okay. Still not legal. Oh for it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> She's 04, so that she runs great. I don't trust that anyone for 2000. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. good. Brennan, you get a car? No. 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 No.
Not me either. <laughs> no, no. Did anybody do like any art? Not the best sleep in his life. No, the doors are closed. Did I do any art? Yeah, anybody, anybody. Oh, yeah. I have a bunch of flash that I'm going to be posting, and then so people understand, like, this is the kind of style. Don't come in here like, I want, like, a pink color, like, can't sleep on. Like, oh, yeah, you'll be getting yeah. all that. <laughs> so if I put that out there, at least people yeah. understand, like, it's very simple stuff, so. Just start. Right? Yeah, you'll, exactly. You'll develop now. quickly. You got good equipment. You got See, good. you'll be two weeks in, and someone will want a portrait. <laughs> you'll be sitting there going, like, okay, you're not listening. Yeah, I can't do that. I can do... Up to the Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, literally. Yeah, that's a good estimation. Yeah, it's like you gotta, you gotta get well rounded. Yeah. You know? But he's a portrait of the Simpsons. He's a portrait. <laughs> just, like, just like on the TV. Yeah. Just like the picture. The Carlene Nicholson says, Cat, like, be the star girl. That's Charlene. 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 Yes. So my neighbor. Yeah, to just down the street. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Shirley. I love you. <laughs> I have to say it out loud. Yeah, it's been crazy, man. Lots of moving around, and I didn't really sit very still during the quarantine, that's for sure. I had so many things on the go, and things get put together, and things being ripped apart, and just, it was just go, 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 man. And still just getting everything we ordered the parts for the Hummer today we're moving forward on that thank you Trevor and Phil Gramuth they're amazing um yeah it's good back to be back home and see all you guys and see Ricardo and see Malcolm and Ricardo came and picked me up from 100 mile or yeah I was in 100 mile stranded hey, oh. no <laughs> no no, I, was, no. You know, I didn't have anybody there Actually, I met a cool guy smoking a cigarette, Junior. Yeah, sunny Rocco. It's pretty strange, man. Small world. You always bumping into people that you uh, that you met a long time ago, or you didn't remember, or you know they didn't remember you, or whatever it might be. It's just strange. It's a tiny, tiny little world. Like that thing I shared with you today. Mm. Jeans mm -hmm. or pants without pockets. That was eerie. It was strange. And then the post right under it was like, I got deep pockets. Who wants to go for lunch? <laughs> right under his post. Like, literally, Malcolm's post is like, pants without pockets or something. And, yeah. and then the guy right under the next post is like, I got deep pockets. Who wants to go for lunch? <laughs> it's like yeah. so strange. Like, it's like, what? What are the fucking odds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had that happen a few years ago. I remember it because that's the only twice something like that's ever happened. Is like, uh, my friend was like, uh, it's like, oh man, I sure love tacos. And then the next status under is like, hey, who wants to go for tacos? And I did the same thing. I screenshot and it was so strange. When I sent it to her. I was like, man, that's strange. Like these people are even up. Yeah, I did. I sent it to both of them. This guy wants tacos. <laughs> yeah, this guy likes tacos. I feel like y'all should go get tacos together. I had tacos tonight. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, man. It was uh, good. Down at the bistro. Tacos are good every day. Tacos are good every day. There's so many kinds of tacos. Yeah. I am... This is not an ad, but no pun intended. Wow. Yeah, no pun intended is amazing, too. Wow. That's a burrito. That's more like a bun burrito. No, they have tacos. Hard taco? No, it's like oh. soft tacos. But like the like stuff, the ingredients inside is like, oh wow, I had them today actually. No, none of them is cakery is selling their baked goods on no pun intended, no. Really? Yeah. <gasps> I you saw that, a girl got cupcakes. Cupcakes and parfait cups. cups. Oh, uh, four inch brownies. Cupcakes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a cool. great partnership. Tacos and cupcakes, now you speak my language. There you go. Are they, they're just killing it, eh? They're working in Terrace too. Yeah, a couple days a week. Yeah, their mm -hmm. business is legit. Man. It's sweet. Do all the paperwork. Yeah, that's awesome. Theirs is legit, and ours is getting shadier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ours is degrading, and theirs is improving. <laughs> we're in, we're in a multi gray area venture right now, kind of like <laughs> reached and branched out into a little bit of everything in the community, and then. Let's increase Gutter Card. <laughs> yeah, how do you think? Like, how do you think I? I bought it, no. <laughs> no. She uh, bought it. Uh, shop shop in the back. The previous owner bought the farm. No. Yeah, yeah but don't go 
stretching the river anyway. So. I'm excited to try and get some fishing so down and catch some it. fish, man. That's my kind of my thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get out and some, catch some springs in the morning here. It's summer though. <laughs> summer salmon. All right, question. Jeff Campbell, dream tattoos. Dream tattoos that you want to do. Oh, that we you, you want to do? Yeah, that you would like to. You want somebody. She's got this sick bee with honeycomb she really wants to do. But no. <laughs> 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 Too soon. <laughs> I like cats. I do cat portraits. I do your cat portraits. If I'm completely honest, I drew Flash in like 2017 that I'm really excited to like do properly and make nice and like do that because it's just kind of cool to think that the Flash that I was drawing back then I can actually be Flash now. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. be it. Those will also be up tomorrow. My goal is to do 20 Tom Cruise portraits this year. <laughs> <laughs> no. From all of his best movies. Full color, <laughs> just killer Tom Cruise portraits. Mission Impossible, uh, fucking everything. Uh, American not Dream. Not that. <laughs> just every crazy Tom Cruise portrait you can come up with. Uh, I first could, 10 minutes of Austin Powers. Anything. Yeah. If you can bring me a sick photo of Tom Cruise, I'll give you a good deal this year on it. <laughs> There's some good ones out there, for sure. Oh, God. What? No, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Brandon's doing Nicolas Cage portraits. Oh, like that. Oh, <laughs> portraits are the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Painting, but harder. <laughs> it's like painting a moving target that can only take it for so long before they're like. You smoke more weed, this bro. This hurts. <laughs> you smoke way more weed. Bro. You need to turn your headphones way. You need to turn your headphones way the fuck up and smoke some more dope and just be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the Jimbo style. What we need the is more it hurts a, you, the more I make it hurt. We need a big Frankenstein table. We can just trap <laughs> them. <laughs> Ball <laughs> gags, ratchet you down. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Okay, well, okay mask. Sorry, not ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> Put a mask on you. Ball gag, then mask. Yeah, they can't see it. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Put some J Pro on you. That's the the new trick. Everyone's oh, really? freezing their tattoos. Shut up. Like, yeah, I stabbed myself in the hand. <laughs> I've always said that already in the podcast. Yes. But <laughs> probably should be at the hospital. <laughs> That's where the sick people are. You don't get sick, do you? I don't care. I stab my hand. <laughs> I want them to look at it and clean it and dress it, and I'll, or I'll bring Probably dress. I'll just bring dressings down and tell them how to do their job. That's what they usually do, anyways. <laughs> Go down there, freak out, make a big scene, tell them how to do their job. Give them the materials for their job. Yeah, and then but almost get kicked out of the hospital right when my doctor shows up and says, "No, he's always like this." This is regular. <laughs> I really don't like being He's actually here, very so like, calm today. <laughs> yeah, he's actually doing really good. <laughs> he's usually like freaking out. Uh, Corey asked if it's extra for the ball gag. Uh, mm. You can bring your own. You have to bring your own or we have cabbie yours. BYOB. <laughs> bring your own ball gag. <laughs> BYBOG. No. <laughs> no, that is right. Yeah. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I said, the ball gag you have here is shaped like balls. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's called a strap on. That'd be cute too, though. Okay, wait, balls gag. <laughs> balls gag! <laughs> so quickly. Welcome to Divine. Somebody asked me a different question when we did. <laughs> we said the shit was getting shady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we don't have an honesty here at Defining. 
Yeah. We're still gonna ball game you. <laughs> <laughs> we do. That's honest. Really. We've had some people that definitely. <laughs> people would be upset if you we said will ball game you. It's like you just pull it out of the drawer and just be like, yo, you're gonna have to put this in or you're gonna have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone to that, okay? This is it. So you have to shut the fuck up and get that dude or just go, man. And first, we're gonna take your temperature. Fuck. We already took your temperature. It's <laughs> screaming and carrying yeah. on. It's gone. I've only had that a couple times. Crazy oh. screamers. Really? Yeah. Let's hear it. No. We can. No, 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 no. I got it. We all have them. They're just bad, man. It's just a nightmare. It's really hard to do your job. It's like Brendan's there. It's like, <laughs> now I'm trying to hit a moving screaming target. Yeah. Like, and I'm trying to. should take 40 minutes, takes three hours. <laughs> yeah. Just sitting there, like, man. Please stop moving. So, and it's so hard because it's like, fuck, you, cool. you think you're hurting them too much, right? You're used to doing your job a certain way. This person's blowing it out of proportion. And, uh, yeah. You end up going light, and then yeah. they get a less than stellar tattoo and the artist is mad and then everyone just kind of shakes hands and goes <laughs> yeah end of the day I, honestly the easiest way to prevent that is just be rested be a man be a man suck it up be a woman be a woman be a man hydrate Eat, eat, eat good hydrate, food. be rested, like have your game face on, psych yourself up for it. It's cool to think it's gonna hurt, that's gonna help you. Don't ever go into it with arrogance and think, oh, they got this. Because it'll hurt more. Oh, fuck, that's the worst. That's I When I've been a little bitch, that's always how I did it. I got caught off guard. I thought it was gonna be easy, cakewalk, yeah. no problem. Yeah. yeah worst part of it. Exactly. <laughs> like, no. No, don't do that. Has anybody at this table tattooed you? Yeah. Yeah? Let's hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the you? one was good, the cross was fun. That one? What else did you do in my leg? Yeah. That wasn't bad. No, that wasn't bad, but the cross was fun. That was tattooed my soul. Uh, True. Right in the Had solar like plex. One line left, and he's like, you can do it later. And you're like, sit the fuck down. No, no. I never got to do it. We're done here. <laughs> Actually. Stop, please. We're done here. Yeah. yeah. One line left. Yeah. No. There's all the line. Well, palm tattoos weren't nice, yeah. Oh, I'm such a... Those weren't that bad. Oh, I'm not... I've had mine done twice already. I only have a little guy on my palm. I have none. Yeah, I Yeah, yours is good. Maybe one more little touch up. He went over it once. And then right after he went over it again. And that's when I started closing up. Oh, you only had done once, though. That's no touch-ups. No touch-ups. That's good. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That was, I, like, I, had, that was I had mine done twice though. now. You got yours one shot, right? Um, they're still <laughs> nice. little bits. They're just yeah, not connecting yeah. anymore. But still, you can tell what it is. It's nice. Yeah. Regal. It's in there. I cut a nice big line in my arm. I said that, yeah. <laughs> Everybody else is drinking like yeah. 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 My girl said to me today, she's like, oh, good thing it's not close to the heart. I think you'll be fine. And I was like, okay, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much exactly the same thing. Yeah. It's like, no, no, she's like, make sure you keep it clean. You don't want to get in Pitego. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you get in Pitego? No, I think in Pitego's from picking scabs. Yeah, I think it is. It's like from fingernail to... Yeah. Because usually it's behind the ears and on the nape of your neck and sides of your legs and stuff like fingernail yeah. contamination and open wounds. I think you're more at risk of gangrene right now. Gangrene? Yeah. I come against that in Jesus' name. That like, was bold. Lord, I need my hands, my feet, my eyes, my ears, my nose. And people would argue I don't need my tongue, but I would like to keep it intact. <laughs> I deem it necessary. Anyways, we're down to only 10 people watching. Tammy wants to know if there's any body part you won't tattoo. Money talks, bullshit walks. That's my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Money talks. I feel like she asked this question in the last episode. And then you said that. There's only two places I haven't tattooed. That's and that's... <laughs> the only places I haven't tattooed are eyelids and butthole. Now, would you? Oh, fuck it, a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a spot you won't tattoo, she says. No. 
It depends on the person. Like, yeah. if you don't know them and you're not sure if, you know, they're getting something really Yeah, sick, only certain buttholes for sure. Not all buttholes are created equal. So. <laughs> <laughs> you want to end up in that situation we were just talking about? Yeah. Where someone's like. No one likes a screaming yeah, butthole. I'm going to get my asshole tattooed <laughs> and I can't sit still. And, you, you know. You're down there for 45 minutes. I wanted, to, ta- I wanted to tattoo someone's eyelids, and then I said to Jimbo, it's like, what do you do? This is like years and years ago. I'm like, what do you do? Do you put pumpkin seeds under their eyelids? And he's like, looks at me really fast. What? And I'm like, how do you tattoo their eyelids? And I say, Oliver, what did you just say? Like, how do you tattoo them, bro? Like, do you fucking put spoons under there? Or bombs? <laughs> I mean, um, no. pumpkin seeds? He's like, you're fucked. You just tattoo the man. What if you go through the eyelid? He's like, don't! <laughs> <laughs> just don't! Best advice ever. Yeah. yeah. I guess you just, like, make sure your needle wasn't over. I don't know why I heard that. I think I heard it in prison. Pumpkin seeds. Like fresh fresh pumpkin seeds because they don't create irritation. Good. Yeah. I, I don't think anything under your eyes is a good thing, no matter what. Well, they tattoo their eyeballs in prison, right? That's the difference with the syringe. Uh, okay. Yeah, they take a Injection. little bit of, inje- they just put it under the, like, the layer of the eyeball, and they just inject a little bit, and then it spreads around through the surface as it heals. So it's only, like, like a tiniest little, like... No. Still can go blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. If you don't know what you're doing, and yeah. you don't know. What, like, yeah. I always thought that was don't cool. Jab it in the... I always thought that was super cool. cool. I get my eyes blocked out. I'll pass. I feel like that. Like no, <laughs> no, no. The reason the whites of your eyes are white, though, like it either diffracts light away. Probably. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> making them uh, black. Like, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna like. Fuck, my eyeballs are heating up today. <laughs> See this tear? It's not tears, it's Cooling sweat. <laughs> my eyes are so hot right now. <laughs> hot just sockets. Dumping eye drops in all day, just cooling hot your eyes down. <laughs> My friend Brent was <laughs> always did that hot pocket thing. I used to laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I love it. Anyways, I'm going to go um, have a cigarette and think about going how... Going to the hospital. Well, no, I don't think I'm going to go to the hospital. Oh, fuck. I'm going to wait till the morning. And... <laughs> of course you are. How magical is that? The wound is festering. It smells My bad. hand is black this morning, maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll change my Where's the back teen at? What's it saying? I it have smells like cheese. Hand. What's it saying? <laughs> 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 do not fuse on one inch or do you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna pry it open and stick a swab in it and swab it out. <laughs> you can do that. Fuck it. No, I'm not doing that. No, yeah, I'm gonna do that first, though. Well, they freeze it, yeah? They didn't have mine. Um, they just no. have to glad right in there. Yeah. I don't think I could do that. Yeah, when I have my knee, that would be. Would do like what the dentist does where they the swab that. The needle was the hard part. Where it burns and then it stops hurting. But they know me good. I should just fucking spray the vaccine in there, retake a derma, and then. Yeah. Hope don't it's deep, man. Like, <laughs> it's like this deep. Like, yeah. Yeah. I just don't. Like I, knife I, knife I don't think it's in there. I'm just gonna make sure that I don't. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't let my body catch up. I've been drinking lots of water, vitamins, all the other shit. Let my body catch up, not Baby open it. Crystals, essential oils. No, no. Salt lamb. Salt lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Salt sterilizes, right? You just rub your hand yeah, on it. Like, yeah, yeah. I thought you were supposed to lick those no. lamps. No! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. Don't lick them! Salt no, you don't. I lick them whenever I see them. Well, that's what if you have one of those, I lick them. Do you want to die? <laughs> <laughs> if you have one of those lamps, I've definitely licked it when you left the room. You go into the stores and lick them. No, I don't lick the store ones, but my friends have them. You're going to make corona kitchen too. By the way, if you have a salt lamp, I've been on the road where you're not supposed to like this. Like, 
kind of statement was that? When oh COVID God. started, I was like, fuck, man, if I just lick every doorknob in town, I hope I get it, get it over with, because I thought I'd just build the immunity. <laughs> it's me, Jamie. It's me, Jamie. Like, <laughs> that, that girl in that one video where she licked a toilet seat, right? That was right when the outbreak happened. You Not cool. <laughs> That's <laughs> just the Take it too far. Yeah. <laughs> well, before you get COVID. Yeah, you're asking for way more than COVID. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's licking toilet seat. Doorknob, maybe, but... Is it, of, is it the toilet seat in your house, or is it like in an airport? It, it was like, just like a random, like, a picture of a fast food. All I know is that she was like a social media influencer or whatever the fuck, and she clicked the toilet seat, and she got on video while she was I'm pretty sure it was a fast food place, like a burger joint. So probably something. one of the worst places to... Yeah. Like, and for me, I think that, the, not, like, and, and the, you can't build up an immunity to it either. Like, you, it, like you don't get an yeah, immunity. Or, yeah, you don't get immunity or resistance. You can be reinfected. That's a crazy thing. So you might be better at fighting it a tiny bit the next, like the second round, but you're definitely not like, yeah. oh, I can't get it again. Like, no, definitely can. Don't do that. Sarah said, just flush the wound, spritz a little back to you, and cover it for a few days or super glue. Uh, Sarah, Sarah who? A. Yachty? No, Sarah Stewart. She's uh, from California. Yeah. And she has a medical background. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> And Corey told you to just lick regular lamps. No, I like salt lamps. It tastes better. Hot light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> I sucked a few light bulbs. Better yet, head. you take the light bulb out and stick <laughs> your tongue in the. Uh, <laughs> Make sure it's plugged in. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow I got a fish, and then I got a butt tattoo, and then I got a giant uh, native headdress and skull. It's gonna be cool. Um, I don't know what anybody's seeing here. I'm tattooing myself tomorrow. Are you? What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna again one of my old clash pieces that I've been wanting to do with myself for a while. Anyway, I've wanted it so. I was thinking about doing magical mushrooms tonight. I think. Wow. Have fun with that. I'm gonna reset myself. Especially after that traumatizing event. <laughs> I don't know if it's good to eat fungus after you stab yourself, though. That might not be a good idea. It's in your blood. <laughs> you can't you grow mushrooms out of my wounds. Hey. No, it's just, you know, there's free mushrooms. Actually, mushrooms make you, they can make you heal. They can make you heal faster. No. <laughs> it's like, what, cordyceps? That's the mushroom that takes over your brain. Whoa. What? Really? Whoa. I think it's, Whoa. I think so. I mean, it's, it happens in insects. We need to breed that one. Really is it like, can we weaponize it? it. <laughs> we weaponize the humanity. spores? Yeah, like a ninja? Like, just, okay. How can yeah. we weaponize it? Like a ninja, it? just blow the spores in their face. There you go. <laughs> it only works for ants. It went from insects. taking shivs and resetting and having a good time to murder, question mark? Yeah. <laughs> murder mushrooms. Murder Wait. <laughs> That Whoa. jump was very unclear to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to get out on my bike. That's kind of exciting. I went for a little bit of a ride. My fairings are just about done. They're being painted at Auto Master by Sean and Barry. Yeah, talk about it. I just want to get on the highway. Honestly, I love driving and riding. And so peaceful. Especially living up here, I was so grateful to come home, man. It was just the first time driving back into Kitama, it's just like, fuck. It's like driving into Valhalla or like heaven, man. When you just come down that after the airport hill and into the valley and you can see Lake Gals Lake there. And fuck, it's just wild, man. It's like something out of a postcard. True. There's no houses. It's a really nice view. There's no houses or buildings or power lines. You're yep. just coming down. It's perfect. It's like this Give is. Ten years. <laughs> Your pessimism is not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> call it pessimism. I call it realism. That's what people do. They buy and sell land, and then they build shit, and then they try to make money off of it. And then it just continues until there's no more. And yeah, but this is kind of the end of the road. It's like, the, for lack of interest, do you know what I mean? Like, if anything, they're building out to the channel way rather than... To well, even if it's in like 50 years, the reality is so. Kitimat had its opportunity to be a like a hub, and it just didn't. And the, that kind of economic Should development doesn't just happen. <laughs> that kind of <laughs> economic <laughs> development doesn't just happen <laughs> overnight. Doesn't matter how much industry you bring to town. Doesn't matter how much commercial uh, commerce you bring to town. If there's enough people at interest. Yeah, it's when the camp <laughs> when the camp is holding the same amount of people as the city is. 
and we don't support LOA and all the other things and the infrastructure isn't there of a big city like Calgary or Edmonton or Prince George or Vancouver, those things don't just happen overnight. Do you, yeah. do you know what I mean? That just takes 40 or 50 years. There's not going to be houses out in the highway for a long, long time, man. It's like they still... We can barely afford and do good with what we do have. <laughs> they're still, they're still trying to sell really subdivisions and fill up the empty houses that are here. And, and Strawberry Meadows is still... You can still find plots all over Yeah, the exactly. Too. There's lots of... like. I love that saying. It's like, if it's overcrowded where you live, fucking move. Like, yeah. If you believe in overpopulation and... Like, there's lots of room. Me when I lived in the yeah. West. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, <laughs> <fuck>. Move. move. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, if you find it too Wait, crowded wait. where you're at, there's lots of room. Just look out the window of an airplane. Uh, haven't you heard? Those are actually little TV screens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't actually know. Like, what? <laughs> 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 Brendan has been watching YouTube for three months, <laughs> so he's got a tinfoil hat in full effect right now. <laughs> the fucking moon is a scanned image. The sun is a projector of the Truman Show. Dave Life Chappelle never went to Africa. He actually went to space. <laughs> he sent a clone back, and that's why his voice is different now. So that's what he meant. <laughs> Avril Lavigne on the moon. Oh my god, I love it. I think I'm back. Avril Lavigne, that comes from. Okay, I'm going for a smoke and just think about my wounds. Avril Lavigne went to somewhere that can, like, so what's the protocol they said? Flush it, spritz with back tea and cover it for a few days. I already did that. Just change your dressing and do it over again. I did worse. You didn't have back tea. Let your dog lick it clean. You did you? No, I read on the internet that dogs have cleaner mouths than people. Therefore... We should just give a dig on Paul, Paul Booth said to do that. <laughs> you can you get your tongue in there better though than your dog. Uh, I should take that uh, back so Paul Booth is a oh better murder me as a tattoo. Paul Booth never said to lick a booty tattoo. Or wounds. Oh, do you know there's this movie called Crash that came out in the 90s? Oh. People have gotten into car accidents and they would like have sex with their wounds. Yeah. Well, that's not the crash I saw. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. That's like the movie that they made in the 90s. Yeah. 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 Yeah, what? it's like, oh, wounds, wounds, sex with, what? What? Shit. You just gotta open it up a little. Ah! <laughs> that was such a huge jump from what we were talking about. I mean, I get the jump, but, but like, still. so painful but... to, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Disturbing. That's what that was. Okay, I'm going to have a cigarette. I don't know yes. what you guys are going to wind this down or wind it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Everybody want to wind it down? Well, how about, how about a little uh, a little recap on what to expect oh, tomorrow? Yeah, Brendan, what time are you coming in? Mm, one. Whoa. Slightly before one. Winter piercing is going to get started. Go to Terrace. Yeah, we don't do uh, we don't do piercings anymore. But the new guys in Terrace do, so you should go check them out. Me and Jembo are going to check that place out. No. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's not really here. Yeah, no, I don't really. support that. I don't so support that. You started it, you don't have to support it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is where it backed down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I bet you. What to expect tomorrow? What, what can the viewers expect tomorrow? Well, I'll show you. Let's see. Me crying like a baby from tattooing myself. <laughs> that's that's what. No, hold the camera. Yeah. Right. Come on, Facebook Live. No, we're not. But no, Instagram Live. No, they won't. Put Arthur Morgan's live. getting this. We're like lagging, so you gotta give us a minute. Yeah. And um. You gotta hold it there longer. Megan's getting this. It's beautiful. Maybe a little bit more windswept. Okay. What about you guys? How many? You got my smoke. Got one. Brandon's still hermiting out, so he doesn't really. He's just trying to pretend nothing's happening. So, <laughs> <laughs> does he even go unnoticed for a few more days? 
<laughs> Nobody's knocked on the door except Shaylin a couple times. Make sure he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> slip some food. <laughs> mail slot. You slip the mail on the door. <laughs> yeah. The mail. Trade. No will trade. <laughs> Paper trails? The fuck? Yeah, the mail I have to go pick up. Pay my bills online like a 21st century <laughs> human being, Reese. High tech, all right. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, man, you can't do that with the PNG bill. What? Still? Oh, I guess I can pay online, but I only get paper bills. They don't have a like website. Just like, oh, it's so arcade. Website, but probably still use fax machines. Disgusting. Yeah, That's what I find interesting about like our voting system, not to get political, but they always say like, oh well, we couldn't do online voting because what if somebody hacks the network? And it's like, all right, but feel free to transfer thousands of dollars back and forth to a guy in like fucking Europe, you know, trying to buy things, but votes, absolutely not. Yeah. And what, didn't the elections get hacked anyway? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, <right? laughs> like, very archaic. Okay, you're gonna write your name on this little piece of paper and you're gonna put it in a box and then we're gonna move the box and we're gonna tell you one. Like, oh, and if you okay. mark more than one circle on that piece of paper, invalid, she's dead. That's nothing. That means nothing. Right. Zero. How do we know? If you scribble on it, draw on it anywhere else, nothing. Valid, invalid. They take the box yeah. into the closet yeah. and they oh, just dump it in the garbage only and say, take hey, on. one X or check mark in that circle. And if there's anything else in the paper, they're like, fuck you. What they throw you? your vote. <laughs> I remember that. I was a scrutineer for the last election. It's, uh, it's yeah. very weird. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. They literally, like, anything, even if there's, like, a scribble and, like, an eraser mark, they're like, hmm. You're telling me I can like, vote what? for <laughs> America's Got Talent with black phones, but I can't vote for the leader of the country. Like, it's it's like, like, there's a mark there. I'm like, but it's, it's like, a race. It's faded. She's like, but there's a mark there. I'm like, wow. Okay. And then she hooked it. I didn't realize we were that into this right now. <laughs> Damn. Scary, oh. scary. She was like, you picked the wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Definitely. We're voting blue this year. Fuck you. Oh, God. Is there anything you want to say to the viewers before they come tomorrow? Before they come crashing the door? I'm very mm -hmm. excited. Yes. But oh. there will be no crashing. <laughs> yeah. Are you providing Mac? Um, what Oliver was saying, yes. We have a maximum uh, occupancy in the building of 10 people, including ourselves, so... Yeah. Six or eight people much in any given time? Or the yeah. four of us? Did I math right? No, yeah. That's <laughs> <true>. so, <laughs> and then when Jimbo's here, but they're, we're going to be fluctuating on it really switching up hours. So five to six, but yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm hoping to work earlier. So yeah, because if Jimbo isn't here, one of us cannot be. Pretty, so pretty much, see. we can only have one person for well, an artist. If there's five artists and five clients, it's ten. Yeah. Well, bring your friends. But also, and like, if you do bring your friends, they have to find so. something to do until you're done. I don't know, we're yeah, going to figure that out still, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Stop asking questions! Like, that means like, there's, there's a lot of people. And God forbid, like, we all have our massage tables out. You're gonna be a fucking maze to get to the bathroom and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Like that's you know what? No. Stop being a realist, Reese. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just don't want people to get upset because we're like not following protocol or something like that. When like we definitely are. So no, I we're taking it very no. seriously. Of so it's like it's serious. No, we'll it's figure it out. Grand on the line for fucking Yeah, up. literally. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna be this alternating pretty good too. Yeah, I'm gonna start at ten most yeah. days. And, and then Oliver's not, not going to be tattooing when Jimbo's tattooing too. So if I just like line up my schedule in that area. Yeah, I line up with Oliver and then just whenever Jimbo's here, just try not to yeah. be tattooing. Exactly. But then if Jimbo's then here and like you're. Where you get the corner. Yeah. But honestly, and like if Jimbo's, um, if you, like Jimbo's here and like one of you guys aren't, I would just like come in too. You yeah, know what I mean? Like we're just going to figure it out. We'll figure Make sure it. there's not too many of us in here. It'll be a work in. Progress. We have till the 26th yeah. until the whole chimbo scenario anyway, so we have a that's week in a bit. Two weeks. That's not math. That's not math. No. <laughs> but we have we have a bit to just kind of like get into we a routine have and just insert Jimbo into it. Right, right. So, so Reese, yeah. did you already go over like 
what you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do. That post will be up tomorrow. Who's free and when yeah. the non-free um, things start, how much. And so all that. the free tattoos aren't actually going to be free. They're going to be $25 because if we have to provide you for a mask, Fair then enough. like we are losing money because we're doing a lot more of a procedure now as well. Like, I mean, we're losing, if, like, free tattoos are still losing money to begin with, but now there's, like, more aspects onto it, so, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. And then, uh, that'll be a little bit, I'm going to get my close down again, so I already have those people picked out, so. Yeah, are you just doing arms and legs for the first I'm not doing, not so doing hands, many. not doing face, not doing neck. Is that it? Is that all I want? Arms. No. Me? Arms and legs. Arms and legs, yeah, so we're doing arms and legs, so there is definitely like limited things here and there, so I'm going to be making a post up tomorrow. Shake me glove up and help me. Just have everyone aware of the new change for me, I'm very excited. Alright, right, Sarah, hope you're right. <laughs> you're going to be okay. Alright, so I guess we'll sign off then. Yeah. Everybody say bye. Check out, I stabbed myself. <laughs> Drink. Drink. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, oh my God. <laughs>